You know, I think you do anything to, to maximize your potential in whatever mm -hmm. realm you put yourself in. Uh, within entertainment, there's so many doors that you can go through. I mean, you're literally looking at 15 to 20 doors. I'm beyond confident. I'm not cocky, I'm so confident. I'm confident in who I am. I'm yeah. confident in the person that I am. I think I'm sexy. I tell my lady all the time, babe, I'm sexy. <laughs> I, just got, I just got two ugly toes. That's it. That's, that's the only thing. I just, I love me. And, and yeah, I don't take my socks off. <laughs> I don't take them off. But I wear good socks. That's, that's the plus. I just don't believe, I don't believe in change. I don't believe in, in doing things to, to uh, manufacture my body to appeal to what I think people might like. This is, this is it. This is, this is what I was given. This is my playing card. If we was playing poker, I gotta make this hand work. This is it for me. And this is what I'm gonna ride out. So how do you not embrace it? You get one life. One. You get one life. I don't. I can't, I can't express how happy of a person I am. Yeah. I can't express how inspiring and, and uh, I guess you would say motivating my life and the people around me. If you ask any comedian that has a real understanding and knowledge of stand-up comedy today, people probably say Dave Chappelle is the best pound for pound. And, and that's including everybody. That's, you know, this is one of the most creative guys on the planet. And when it comes to breaking down a joke and making a joke, uh, a joke within a joke within a joke, Dave Chappelle does it like nobody else. It's a science. Everybody successful lays a blueprint out. You lay the blueprint out. Uh, you know, I can go down a list from comedians to actors to entrepreneurs to self-made moguls. You look at Russell Simmons, you look at Jay-Z, you look at Tyler Perry, you look at Puff. Uh, I mean, you're looking at people that start off with a small vision and that vision manifested into something beyond expectation. So what I did was, from the people around me, my mentors, Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, Pryor, all on the walls. Yeah, I, sur that. I surround myself with a constant reminder of who's great, constantly. I come down these steps every day, I look at Richard, yo, he's great. I see Eddie, he was great. I see Chris Rock, he was great. I, it's a constant reminder, what am I trying to achieve? I wanna be great. So yeah. that motivates me. So the thing that separates me is my drive. My drive is other people's success. Even though my place was dark, I'm happy. I'm happy simply because I, I, I have no reason to be angry. Uh, life is too short to be angry. So the things that I do feel a certain type of way about it that I may get upset about, I let it out. I get it out on stage and I allow other people to judge it and laugh at it. Mm -hmm. And the reason why you're laughing is because I'm being honest. And I think when people can relate to that honesty, I don't care what happens to you, there is a positive and a negative in anything that happens to you. And if you think about it after you're done being negative, I guarantee you'll laugh. Mm -hmm. I guarantee I don't care how bad, how severe it is, after it's happened, when you really break down. Uh, life is too short, and I, I feel like everyone needs to live, love, and laugh, and understand, like, you know, you're constantly evolving. Things are constantly changing, things are constantly putting, in, putting people in a position where they can get better and do better. We're doing a lot better. A lot better. You're going to have bumps in the road. You're going to have things that happen that make you have a hiccup and, and question, are we doing better? But that's life. That's the course of life. But you know, I, I'm a I'm a positive person. I'm a realistic and positive person. So I see where we are. I'm happy with where we are, and I know where we can be five or ten years from now. It can continue to get better and grow. For me, you know what? I I, I believe hard work pays off. You know, um, when you say it's been a, it's been my year and it's it's my time. You know, uh, Hollywood has a way of making everything seem like an overnight success. Oh my God, where did this guy come from? Oh, this kid, who is he? Look, yeah. he's a massive star. I had 18 years in the business, yeah. you know? You put in your 10,000 hours. I put, it, I put in my time, you know? Yeah. I got I got dues that, that have been paid and paid again and paid one more time after that. I stayed true to my dreams. And by doing that, eventually it came true. You get hit with a false reality that this is your life and this is what it's going to be forever. Oh my God, you're famous and you make money forever. That's not the case. And if you're not a person that can understand that, you get caught up in the matrix. And when that goes away, you don't know what life is because you fell into the perception that life is this fake fictional presentation. And it's not. Life changes. There's ups and downs. Moments are great and then they're bad. And entertainment, that's what it is. So just because we're hot today does not mean we'll be hot tomorrow. But the smart people that are hot today, prepare for the times when they may not be hot. 
I think with any with any level of success, you're gonna you're gonna get negativity. The thing is, is how do you handle it? You can feed negativity with negative responses, or you can feed negativity with success. At the end of the day, if you continue to do what you do to the best of your ability, the people that are being negative have to evaluate themselves and go, yo, instead of taking the time to be angry, maybe I just need to go and do what I'm supposed to do on my side.